Good day to you, theorists. It's Wednesday, November 11th, 2020, and your cherry bomb trade is in for today. We're going to be trying to pull a neutral trade, a short premium trade in QQQ, the ETF that tracks the NASDAQ, which was beat up the past couple of days, uh, where the other indices were mixed, right? So if you get the emails from Tasty Trade with their cherry bomb trades, then you would hear all about this. We'll talk more about that in just a moment. But let's continue with our trade overview. The Iron Condor is a neutral strategy to find risk, and QQQ has a liquidity rank of four out of four. So it's very liquid, which is nice. Its IV rank is 28, and its IV percentile right now is in the upper 40s, around 47%. Letting us know that, hey, more days than, than not in the past have had higher volatility. So, you might think that this is potentially not a candidate for short premium, but that's okay. I don't mind putting on this trade and seeing what happened. The last iron condor we had in queues worked out. So let's see if we get similar sideways movement. But you can also see that the NASDAQ is up a percent today. I guess it's finally deciding to join the party. So let me slide that guy back out of the way. And you can't see that because, hey, <laughs> You're still looking at this screen, right? Okay, so let me hop on in to our platform of choice for this video. But first, allow me to introduce myself. Hello, my name is Neil and this is Option Theory. I wanna thank you so much for clicking here. You can see we're in Thinkorswim right now using simulated trading, because that's what we do. Four days of the week, we do cherry bomb trades. Uh, and this is one of those days. Those cherry bomb trades come from Tasty Trade. If you haven't signed up with Tasty Trade or their email lists right you can go down and find in the description a link to go over and sign up for those it's a bitly link yes i made that link only just to see if it gets clicked not who clicks it i don't get that kind of intel i'm not snooping on you other than i just like to know oh hey it got clicked today cool right i feel it's at least the service i could do because i'm taking the trades that they uh, send us and i'm making videos with them so head on over there it's good stuff so with that, you can see on screen, we've got the chart for the queues. We can see, boy, since uh, the March craziness, uh, it has been just rallying, right? And then I would say, what is it, back in September, we hit a little bit of sideways movement, right? Maybe that was election worries. And then you would think <clears throat> after this election pop, hey, you get your election drop back to reality, I guess, right? But with that sideways movement, let's see if we can profit from that. Because, yeah, with options, you can take a position to benefit if the thing just stays in a range. Which is cool, right? Especially if you're new to options. Which, by the way, if you're new to options, feel free to subscribe to this channel uh, and hit that bell so that you're notified when our videos come out. Because what we want to do here, of course, is uh, take away the fear of trading by practicing our mechanics inside of Thinkorswim's simulated trading. So that maybe someday, if you feel up to it, you can start trading in your own live funded real account, right? All right, so let's build out today's trade because I am running behind. All right, add simulated trades. We're gonna be in the December monthly expirations, which is always better for liquidity to be in the monthlies. So I'm gonna twirl that guy open and we're gonna be at the, the shorts, right? I always like to deal with the, sh the puts first because it's just on my way down. We're going to be looking at the 257 put. And I'm going to click the bid for the 257 put right here, 330, right? And I'm going to, that's going to sell that one. And then I want to go $2 wide. So I'm going to protect myself to find my risk. I'm going to hold down the control key and click the ask for the 255. So right now we've got the short put vertical. Now we're going to build our short call vertical because remember an iron condor is just the combination of the two. And we're going to go to 303. You can see the deltas here aren't exactly even. So uh, we are going to have a slight, slightly uh, bearish skew to this iron condor. So we're going to help continue to hold down the control key. At the 303, I'm going to click the bid. And at 305, I'm going to click the ask. Now I've got my iron condor, which could collect a $69 credit with this setup. Now, to be honest, I think I would like to choose other strikes, but let's, before we modify the cherry bomb trade, uh, or at least offer you an alternative, uh, let's take a look at the current risk profile and understand our probabilities. So 
Expiration is 1219. So let's set that up here. We see our expected move. We can see our price slices are not where they need to be. So let's set that to break even at expiration. And the majority of this gray expected move area is, uh, you know, contained within our price slices. This is the area where we have more risk, right? That's why we said we would benefit from some downward movement, which is the exact opposite direction that the queues will be moving today. <laughs> so this setup will cause some pain in the beginning, right? So you can see I might be interested in modifying this slightly. So what am I thinking of doing? What I'm thinking of doing is moving the call strikes out a little further, right? So instead of uh, selling the 303, what I'd like to do is sell the 305. And then go to the 307. And yes, that's $6 less, but essentially the same trade. And instead of having a 56 probability of 56, let's round it up 57. Let's see what we get for probability of profit on this one. Okay, almost a 59%, right? Now, you know I like to also throw this into Tastyworks as well too, in their platform. And I've done that here. And we can see that we have a 305, 303. That was the original one up here with a 57% probability of profit and a 71P50. Uh, what I'm thinking of doing is moving those guys out here. So if I drag 307, 305, now we're looking at a 59% with a P50 of 62. So you might find that to be less interesting. I'll drag that down this way. This was the original, 72% P50. Mm, that is kind of compelling. Maybe, what about this one? Uh, yeah, let's do the 304, 306, right? Because we got an 81% P50 on that one. Not sure why, but and a 58% on that one. So let's dial that one. I'm gonna modify it just slightly, right? 304, 306, set my probability, my slices here. I want to set my slices to chart. We can see this is the range I'd like the cues to stay in. Now, of course, cues is not likely to listen to me and what I want. It'll do whatever the market wants. But if it stays within these two goalposts, within this range, we'll stand to benefit, right? So I'm going to go back to my Analyze tab. I'm going to right-click this trade. I'm going to hit Confirm and Send. Review our max profit of 66. We'll look to close that at 50% of the profit or 21 days to expiration. We could stand to lose $134 if it tests and goes through our strikes on either side. It can't go through both, right? And so we'll understand that risk going into this one. And, you know, I'm okay with that. I'm going to hit send. That's in my working orders. And, uh, yeah, there we go. Now we'll have, hopefully, three positions on. Tesla's losing for us. Netflix is winning for us. And Q's, we're, we're waiting on. And you know we've got that beyond trade in there so uh if you haven't seen that video we've done yesterday's we talked about it as well it definitely did what we expected it gave it gave us some pain but it's been moving up so i'd be very curious to see we've got about nine days left to expiration on that trade so uh how are you doing did you put that trade on all right if you've made it this far in this video, I want to give you your thumbs up at this point. Thank you so much for joining us. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, that's all right. We're going to be here for you. Hopefully you enjoy these videos. And when you do subscribe to this channel, please ring that bell because you get notified when our videos come out. As, as you know, options have time value. And let's collect as much time value or theta as we can. All right, everybody. Until I see you in tomorrow's channel trade, be trading.